Oh, it showed the wrong symbol there. I thought that was interesting. Well, she looks better. She looks happier now. How's the plant? Is it still there? Okay, it's it hasn't been completely eaten. Familiar one. Speak thoughts together again? Has the furry one come to visit you again lately? Yes. Furry one arrived just before. Furry one's words gave this one new thoughts. Words were of futures. First future. Oh, see. This one's hypotheticals about mm -hmm. what would happen. First future. This one eats plant with better taste fast. Gains much energy, but then new plant gone, never arrives again, too much eaten. Second future, this one eats new plant slowly, less energy for now. Oh, look at that little illustration <laughs> that he had made of, of it munching. So she'll be eating the ferns, mm -hmm. but the plant is happy, hearts. Yep. But... Better taste plant remains, less eaten. This one wants second future. Harder, growing will be slower, the future will be better. Aww. And you see, I like that. In most games, you're the one that has to solve everything, but you're actually encouraging these characters to interact with each other. Mm-hmm. And they're the ones bringing out the better outcomes. Yeah. Aww. I mean, I'm assuming the, like, golden ending for this game is all of them get selected. Together? To, yeah. <laughs> but only if you actually get them to work together. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Lots? I think the furry one did a good job helping you pick the best future. Agreement. Happiness. But this one still worries. Burns alone. Enough? Maybe this one searches for other new plants outside cave. Maybe something is found that familiar one could not find. Should we encourage her to go out? I'd be I'd feel terrible if we encourage her to go out and something large tries to eat her. At the same time I think I, I saying think just should. be careful is a good one. Yeah, just be careful. I've just experienced this in games before where you encourage someone and then you find out they died because you did that and you go, oh, I I mm. But yeah, we'll encourage her. She feels ready. If you think you're ready, give it a try. Just be careful. Hmm. Many words. This one will think more. Growing pains. First chapter. All right. Want to talk about something else for now? Have the two that are one come by to see you lately? Yes. Two that are one arrived recently. Understanding of those ones. Still difficult. Shared words more with each other than with this one. Two that are one did not have much happiness. Large rock also fell onto this one. Oh. Bog. How? That's a big rock. Like uh, Look at look at poor little Lutra. Wait, did they throw the rock at her? They better Cuz I mean, she might say fell. But she might not know it was them that did it. That would have been that'd be bad. That'd be bad. Two that are one, not careful. See? They threw it at her. Uh-oh. She thinks it was a mistake or an accident, but no, they just, they chucked the rock at her. The poor little thing. But not 
concerned. Rocks do not pain this one much. Uh, sorry to hear that. I hope it goes better next time. Want to talk about something else? Hmm. So, should I ask her about what her perceptions are? Maybe she'll be happier with them. Tell me what you think about the furry one. Furry one. Showed this one futures. With words only. This one thinks in new ways because of furry one. Fondness. Happiness. And let's ask about the two that are one. She's probably still less enthused about them. We'll definitely have to talk with the twins and say, yo, did you really chuck a, a stone at this poor, adorable, cute, little, isolated caterpillar creature? Why? Tell me what you think of the two that are one. Last appearance of two that are one, not favorable. This one, some fearfulness now with two that are one. Not much happiness. Not much carefulness. Alright. I have to go. See you around. Poor, poor little Lutra. The twins threw a rock at her. Wander, stop reading your phone. You are playing this game with me. Back. And we're going to talk to the adorable critters. I just had to send Joe a message and ask if he had sushi suggestions. <laughs> Aw, sushi. It's very appropriate considering that we're playing a, a, a game fish, set in sushi fish haven. Game and talking about food. Food. We're right. going out tomorrow. Because the hunger is perpetual. Yeah, it is. All right, in any case. If we're going out tomorrow, and we haven't actually picked a place to go eat at, and so I wanted to, like, pick a place, but I don't know anywhere in downtown. Not, not too relevant. Now we're going to speak with the twins and inquire about their misdeeds. Hi again, new friend. Want to play, play a game, a game with, with us, us or, or talk, talk about, about something? something? Okay. So, did Amar come by yet? Yeah, finally, and it was awesome. Amar took us out to the kelp forest, which we'd never even been to before. It was totally crazy, like more fish than anywhere else, and all the huge leaves. Amar wanted to oh, do. Oh, this a is her. Oh. Amar wanted to do a race through the forest. That sounded fun, so we said yes. Uh, but they didn't even go the same way as us, and they knew a shortcut to the finish line and went that way instead. Ah, so he cheated! That's cheating. We should all go the same way in a race to see who's fastest. So for the next race, we told Amar to only go the same way as us and not use any tricks. It actually worked, believe it or not. Amar didn't do anything unfair just to win, like all the other times. Aw, oh, that's good. Oh, wait, actually, that was Ketri that was supposed to say that. Oh, well. Uh, we still lost, though. Amar's too fast. Anyway, it was a lot more fun than last time. I guess Amar's not as much of a jerk as we thought. Yeah, and since you were the one that told them to come play with us... Uh, thanks, I guess. Oh. I'm glad we met you, new friend. And I'm glad you had a good time. Want to talk about something else? So, rebuilding a friendship in Voice of Wisdom. New fables. Oh, right, the fables yeah, the are the fables illustrations. Yeah, the fables are the quests. Uh, and the quests, I see. Okay, like what? Uh... We might get, we might lose favor with them if we ask okay. about the rock That's okay. They should throwing. be chucking rocks they at people. They should not be chucking rocks at tiny, innocent little hunger monsters. Hunger bugs. All right. I heard from Lutra that you two paid a visit again. Yeah, we went to see it, like you told us, but. It was pretty boring. We tried to talk to it about cool stuff we've seen in the ocean. 
but it seemed really distracted. It couldn't play any games with us either. I don't think it even gets what a game is. One kind of funny thing, though, is that a big rock uh, accidentally fell on Lutra. They use their telepa uh, telekinetic powers to put the, the rock on poor little Lutra. Oh no! And look, they're lying about it. Right to our faces. We can see what you've done. We know. But it has a hard shell, so the rock bounced off like it was hitting another rock. But what if it didn't have a hard shell? Ugh. What? I thought our new friend would want to hear about that. You didn't have to talk about that part, brother! <sighs> Everything turned out fine. That's all that matters, okay? Definitely bottom one. Mm-hmm. Hold on a second. Did that rock really fall by accident? Uh, well, yeah, the way it happened was... Uh, we... We did it on purpose. We thought it would be cool to see Lutra's shell get, um, hit by something, you know? We knew it would be okay. We just wanted to see it being all tough, like it is. Really? So we picked up the rock and dropped it down on it to just see that happen. No wonder you guys got exiled. Mind to tell us that story? <sighs> Oh, that's you, actually. Please don't hate us, new friends. I don't hate either of you, but you should have done that, right? Lutra meant you no harm. Uh, you're right, new friend. We... we should know better. Yeah, we won't do anything like that. Uh, anything that might hurt Lutra anymore. Even if we think it'll be fine. New bug buddy. Good. Please don't, and... Thank you both for being honest. Want to talk about something else? We should have convinced them to just, like, find food to feed to Lutra. Just be like, the thing is hungry as heck and can't get out much. Find all sorts of food and figure out what it likes. <laughs> well, the thing is, she does have a perpetual food source, and now she she's does, learned about conservation. She does, but it's a boring food source. Oh, I know. But, like, if they went out just gathering random plants and, you know, edible-ish things to give to Lutra, I mean, like, you talk glowingly about feeding your guinea pig. Mm-hmm. But, granted, guinea pigs weren't intelligent, cosmic no. hunger bugs. But, like, it wouldn't be that far off. <laughs> Just keeping her as a pet. Watch her get nominated as the god. <laughs> what, Lutra? <laughs> well, that's what... It's sort of like what I was saying uh, an episode or two back about... All things about, in moderation, about but eat how well. Like, that just... becomes the, the new mantra, so it's just a bunch of butterball people. I like how everyone's putting up the snob emote. For... It's so perfect. It is. I mean, they're spiky. They're sort of, like, blue. And they eat things. All right. So, can I ask this? Or... Yeah, try. So, what happened to you at the palace? Why did you end up leaving? We don't want to talk about it. It just brings back bad memories. That's fine with me. Let's talk about something else then. Okay, like what? So, I think we know what they think of the others right now. Yep. They repaired their relationship with Amar, and they think Lutra is weird. Mm hmm. But, I have to go now. See you around. Uh, oh, all, all right. right. If, if you, you have, have to. to. Oh, it looks like we can go and talk to Amar about the race. Mm -hmm. I would say, though, Amar definitely has had the most amount of character growth. In the oh, he's moved. Ah. Uh, uh, new creatures in Eel Kingdom. We might have to go back. Well... Oh. Look around and see if you can find Amar. Just stay in ping mode. Just look around instead of moving. Oh, there he is. I believe you can hold watch shift him. to go faster. Watch him at some point have gone shift this thing. Shift to go faster? Oh, sure. And we find 
like half his tail sticking out of Lutra's mouth. We're just like, what? Oh. No, Lutra. Oh, is he going to open that gate? Or it is open. Oh, hey there, friend. Over here. Good timing. I wanted to show you something. See that big door behind me? The one who builds it does a lot of experiments in the ocean. Oh, is it the another god candidate? Yep. And when she's away from her lab in the mid-seas, she keeps this door here locked down. But now it's unlocked, which means you should be able to head through and see what's out there. Me, I prefer it here, where the water water's warmer and brighter. But I know you like to travel and see new things, so you'll probably love it. Just wanted to let you know. Take it easy. Alright. Lockdown lifted. But I still want to talk with him. Yeah, so he's back in his little winds. hole. And then we'll finally go see the lady in the dress. Mm -hmm. The one who's building a lot of things and yeah. doing research? Huh. Oh, one wait. second before. Oh, wait. hi. What? Can you pause for a second? See him. Yeah, somehow we got. Yeah, we're in space. We're why in are we in space, space again? I don't know why we're I in don't space. Know. How do we get. And I don't even see the library. Oh, well, I guess I go for that. Maybe this is a memory of the last iteration. Perhaps. <gasps> what? It's Lutra. Or another version of Lutra? Or is this a premonition of the future? Whoa, you still with me, friend? You seem a little out of it. Take it easy, okay? Wait, and we can't even talk to him about it. We can't talk with him about our, our scary... Maybe we can our, talk to the eel. Our vision of Lutra? Yeah, what's going on? I want to ask you about someone. Let's ask about Lutra. Tell me how you feel about Lutra. I think we're really able to help it out, friend. You know, it talked to me about changing eventually. It feels like it's growing on the inside or something. Mm, what, will, what will she become? What will she metamorphize into? I wonder when we'll find out what that means. Okay, let's ask him about the... Or them about the twins. Oh, so how did you like spending time with the twins recently? It was fun. I'm glad you suggested it. The kids are the same as ever, always sticking to the rules. To know if they'll ever be able to beat me, honestly. <laughs> so, encouraging him to bend the rules better, or... Oh, stories. Maybe we should encourage yeah, him to be stories. a storyteller, rather than a trickster and a cheater. Why not tell them a story instead? Maybe you could teach them something. And he was really good about teaching... Lutra. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, friend. That sounds like a lot of effort to me. Besides, what makes you think the kids are going to listen? They just want to play games. They're not looking for a lesson from me. Well, what if you played a game with them first, and then told them the story after that? Huh. You know, that just might work. All right, I'll go play, play another game with them. Then I'll tell them what it's like taking care of the kelp forest out here. I think that'll make for a good lesson. Maybe I'll be able to inspire them, huh? Mm-hmm. Inspire them to do something other than sulk alone in the cavern. That'd be something. That's the spirit, Amar. Good luck. Want to talk about something else? Sure thing. More about the kelp forest? Maybe he has some new insights? Can you what? tell me more about the kelp forest? I think we asked him about it, but yeah, go for it. Yeah, First same thing. First thing that he remembers, so much great food. Yeah, so nothing new. And then about the kelp devourers. So he actually does maintain the kelp forest by keeping them at bay. Mm -hmm. I have to go now. See you around. Okay, bye. So should we talk with Lutra, or should we talk with the eel about our vision? 
Go talk to the eel. Oh, actually, the eel we can eel talk to. Eel has something new to say. Or, 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 or should we talk to the twins? I was going to say we might also want to go through that door, but that's fine. Oh, it actually... Oh, right, because see oh. how it increased? More popped up in the eel Yeah, kingdom. but also go look at the things. Some stuff slid up. Oh, you're right. Is this their motivation? Yeah, so... so we're at two levels with the twins, two levels with Lutra, and two levels with... Him. With Amar. So all of them have five, with the exception of the Cthulhu god. I suppose with him it might be an absolute. A he, yes or a no. Yeah. With him. Like, there's nothing to change him. Well, why don't we go talk to the eel, and then you should go talk to the other fish, so I can have a break. Because I'm apparently doing a lot of voice acting here. Mm-hmm. Hey, how goes it? Looking to chat for a bit. Ah, I had a strange vision. It looked like one of the gods appearing among the stars. Yeah, you've always gotten those. They seem to hint at which god's gonna be the next creator. Really? Lucha already? Which one did you see this time? It was Lutra, I think. Ah, Lutra. All right, that's exciting. Larva's understanding of things isn't quite the same as ours, eh? Maybe the world it creates will be a bit tough to wrap our heads around. <laughs> but hey, it's still early in the game. Someone else might pull ahead. All right, I think that's all for now. See you around. All right, till next time, buddy. So why don't you why I'll don't you find... actually warp back to Amar? Let's go meet the new character. Oh, well, I, I, I want to find yeah. the new critters in this area. Also, can you pass me my water? I need water. It's funny though because I'm surrounded by it perpetually in this game, Bam. but Bam. I need to I need to consume it myself. Consume, drank. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. And see what... Hmm, well, there's a ton of stuff. I don't... I suppose we've never seen these before, whatever they are. Oh, is it more of the faces? Oh, I think these things are so creepy. I will let you voice act them. Munch. You see that big bright disc up in the sky? That big disc hanging up there? You mean the sun, right? Look tasty, don't does it? Looks like a good snack. I want to eat it. Bring me that big tasty disc. <sighs> That's the sun. I can't bring that to you. Fine. It'll come down eventually, right? If I wait here long enough, it'll fall right into my mouth. Uh, mm, uh, um, I don't think so. All right. Oh, the worms have something new to say? Oh, Rosetta. Can you hear them? The world's melodies. They're more dissonant now. Like, they're all off in their own directions. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Dissonant melodies. That's an achievement. I... I wonder what that could mean. Looks like we can talk with this eel now. Oh. Just recently I saw another eel here with golden fins and scales the color of a stormy sea. Golden feels Oh, so that's probably our... Uh, that's probably a leal that he's talking about. Wouldn't you know I couldn't get a good read on them by their smell. I didn't know what to make of it. It was truly a first. Well, that's because a leal was a former god. More worms? A lot of wigglers. Yeah, the little wigglers have stuff to say. Still traveling all alone, huh? So weird. Hey, want to hear a cool thing about being with your friends a lot? When you think about it, some parts of who you are came from your friends. When you're by yourself a lot, I wonder if that still happens. About learning and growing from your interactions with other people. You can see that. Make, oh, a manta ray! 
I don't know if we've ever, yeah, we haven't seen this guy yeah, before. Yeah, no, we haven't. Manta rays are real pretty. Glide. I used to live with my flock in the mid seas. Then a few of us left for warmer waters. I ran out of energy and I got left behind. I guess this is my new home now. Oh, just left behind? The poor thing. But you know what? I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, it will be okay, Manta Ray. This place isn't so bad. Oh wait, there's one another on the one? There's yeah, two on the left there. There's a couple. Wait, is that some mushroom? What's a mushroom doing underwater? Tulip. The diplomat? Interesting. Did I ever hear, hear tell about the creature I once saw here? Big, regal, eel-like, bold, and beautiful. Nothing bad to say about them. Give them my fondest regards, if ever you see them. Where are your eyes? How can you see? Oh! Oh! Is this a nudibronch? It looks like a nudibronch. Sort of? I mean, nudibronchs technically have that thing on their back, but it's a little... It almost looks like a palm tree. This thing is more of a bulbous. It, it's definitely based off a of nudie bronch. Let's just put it that way. Zippy. Yikes. You scared me there. I'm a little more skittish than most sea cucumbers. You couldn't tell. Oh. He, well, he's calling himself a cucumber, but still looks like a nudie bronch. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like a good survival instinct. <laughs> Keep at yeah, it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, seems like a good survival instinct. Keep at it. Thanks. You need to move out of the way, though. I gotta be on the lookout for real danger here. <laughs> so why don't you warp back to... um? At this point, do we have everything? Yeah, if you press T. Yeah. Yep, we got everything. So when you warp back to Amar? And then we go, wait, but the twins want to talk. Yeah, but warp back to Amar. Let's go meet the new person. Okay, I just hope that we don't leave things unfinished with the twins. I don't think we will, but like, we should probably spread ourselves a bit thin here, at least initially, just so we don't accidentally overfavor somebody. No, that's true. So head for the mid seas. Oh, the mid seas, right. Actually, that's where the mana ray came from. Mm-hmm. Open sesame. Yeah, let's go here. 